And good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're at morning. session 34, and I'm going to share this map again with you guys. For everyone that does not have it. Okay, uh, for a recap for people who weren't here last week, you are on the fifth level of the dungeon. And these circular rooms in the middle, um, they rotate. <laughs> and the group found a uh, control room. I'll throw a token on it. Found a control room over by the sea, right there. That actually had um, I hate this enhanced images plugin. It had the uh, following control panel and views um, that correspond with the rotating rooms. And they have uh, established a telepathic link with uh, some creature that lives on this level. They had just finished a battle with a fiend up in the top uh, western, uh, top northern part of the map. It's gonna be a tongue-tied day. And, however, they had not went down the hallway right there. Um, they were attacked by these flying drones, uh, which were con constructs. And a couple of them uh, retreated down to the hallway, and as they retreated, uh, the metal parts of them uh, started to disintegrate and they ended up crashing and burning on the floor. So they have not been down this hallway yet. So, who would like to go first? Pavel would like to remove his armor and stick his hand into the hallway. <coughs> okay, uh, you uh, take off your armor and stick your hand in the hallway and nothing happens. Well, actually, could I get my uh, token in there, please? Oh, okay, yeah, I'll leave mine in there too, please. Thank you. 
and we'll delete the bad guy. But looking down the hallway, uh, you do see graven images of rotting corpses decorating the hall, and the floor is littered with tarnished coins, bits of armor, broken shields, axe heads, and other bits of scrap metal. And Pavo, you're waving your arm around, and... You're good. Nothing's happening to your arm. Might as well try and toss something in there, maybe. We can throw another scale mail in there. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. They they did throw a uh, scale mail. Oh okay. And uh, it kind of disintegrated, rusted, etc. Hey, Say, you normally don't wear armor. Do you want to go test this room? It looks like it's only affecting metal. Yeah, uh, trying to see if what I need to dump. Well, I guess I'll just drop off anything I have that's uh, obviously metallic. Yeah, you're better than I am because I'm in a breastplate, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, at the very least, I'll have to drop my, my weapons, but I should be fine. So I'll drop off anything that's uh, metallic and go peek inside the corridor. Okay. Uh, yeah, Slowly you're... move up to here first. Uh, you're able to move in. Uh, nothing negative is happening to you. <laughs> and you get a better look at the uh, stairwell right there. And it goes down... Uh, 25 feet and you know you're kind of figuring it goes down to the next level of the dungeon okay uh do I see anything along those corridor now that I'm more in the center I mean the, the big corridor I mean this is the way down <laughs> we have to go down without by losing all our weapons and gear uh absolutely uh, yeah, you're, other than what's previously been described, uh, just, you know, the bits of metal and whatnot, uh, that's all that you're seeing. There's really two choices. We can go down to see if there's any way to turn this off, or continue down the hall to see if we can turn anything off that way. Well, there should still be... Uh, there might still be another option from the. Uh, I accidentally closed it, but. Uh, that's just. Did you. I assume you didn't go to the room that's linked in the middle room. Um, this one from the picture with the share before, there seemed to be another room. The planetarium? Uh, n no, you're thinking right there, correct? Yeah, yeah, like in the pic in the other pictures, the picture of the control room, there was something there. Uh, yeah, truly, uh, they haven't been in the rooms when they rotated. <laughs> they just know that they are rotating. We had uh, metal bars block us in the control room, so we couldn't escape. Oh, as you're rotating, you get locked inside the, the room. Yeah, you're uh, blocked there in the control room. They pulled the wrong lever and <laughs> the bar come crashing down. I can, uh, I guess, peek around the next corner. But go all the way up, slowly go all the way up there and see if there's anything of interest. Okay, and... And that is area...
Uh, yeah, you go up the stairs and you're able to see that the uh, corridor does um, go south. And which one is that? That's 60. But the way seems to be blocked by some uh, bars, it seems. Okay, uh, yes, uh, there is a uh, portcullis um, at the end of it. It's got um, the bars are spaced four inches apart, uh, and you can tell that it is a high quality portcullis uh, made out of anim adamantine. Okay. And through it, uh, in, in this pentagonal room, uh, you can see five teak wardrobes standing against the ironclad walls of this chamber. And each one of them uh, bears a carved image or scene. Uh, you can see puddles of the gray slime covering the floor, which the gray slime does do psychic damage. Um, and you can see uh, that it does have another exit to the room there at the south. And can I see the images in those uh, square things? Or at least one of them? Uh, let's see. Did it do? I guess if I move a bit closer at least. That would be... Uh, yeah, on the wardrobe straight in front of you there, uh, you can see enormous interlocking gears and cogs uh, stretching as far as you can see. Um, um, yeah, uh, the door is actually carved to depict the face of an or ornate clock. And on another one, uh, you can see um, a grinning night hag with a swaddled human infant in her arms. And that one there uh, depicts uh, twisted, screaming humanoid faces wrapped in chains. Nowhere else to go, so I guess I regroup with everyone and let them know what I saw. And that uh, apparently the way down seems to be this way, but I didn't find any obvious way to disable the field. And that there's another way out, but to find a way to bring down the part cause. So do you think this room could be controlled in the control room? <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, yeah, you, you've tried all the buttons. Did you try the big red one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is our only option just to run for it? To try wrapping up a extra piece of armor or metal and something and tossing it in there, like a cloak or something like that. Let's see if it affects it through that piece.
Okay, you wrap up another piece of armor and throw it down the hallway and you watch it start to disintegrate. How fast is this uh, disintegration? Uh, you know, uh, to be metal, uh, it, it's... Oh, no more than a minute. Okay. The planetarium room back there could it somehow be connected to time, and that's what's causing the disintegration. Accelerating the times of the metals. Yeah. Did any? Did you do anything in, the, in that uh, room? Did anything happen? Well, someone sat in it and released a demon, but it spins around. We weren't this far when we were playing, messing with it. Well, it might warrant another, uh, another try, I guess. What about the room we're in now, though? What's this contra contraption on the floor? Uh, and you are... Torgus is actually standing on a gear. And uh, above you, you have a swirling vortex, and let's see, that's 69. Um, and below you, you have a swirling vortex, and... Sorry guys, I'm not quite awake yet. And through the vortexes, uh, they encountered uh, these fine little quadrones. <laughs> uh huh. And let's see. Ta -da -ta -ta -ta. Um. And really, if anyone would like to. Uh, make an intelligence arcana check um, they never really investigated the uh, swirling vortexes well, it's not really my forte <laughs> Uh <laughs> Okay. Um Yeah, you have the big gear which is attached to uh there's two ropes in the room. Um I'm sorry, chains. Uh one chain um goes up about 200 feet before it disappears into the cloudy vortex and the other chain is wrapped around the metal gear where uh, Torgus is standing and vortex is above and below you and Helm being the smart one of the bunch today <laughs> uh, do you know that these vortexes are planar and that they are incredibly destructive and you know that no one no one can expect to enter one and survive um, the chain itself is called a mechanist chain and these chains are uh, crafted and used in conjunction with other machinery to keep the plane of Mechanus in working order. Okay. And you would also know that just judging by it, um, looking at it, that it's been repurposed for the tomb. 
and that one chain would be enough to keep the tomb's traps and other mechanisms in working order. My hell, you sure do know a lot about arcane and mechanisms and all that for a paladin. Yeah. <laughs> You'd think he was a paladin of Torm. <laughs> or not of Torm, <laughs> of... Uh, I can't think of his name off the top of my head now. There's a certain god that that's what he focuses on. Okay, well, uh, I'm relaying all this information to the people. So if we can get Torgus on this little platform, we might be able to cut the chain, because the wheel might fall. Yeah, but we really want to be stuck here. Well, not stuck stuck, but the only way forward is losing all of our armor, which I assume that. And, and weapons. Helm, you're feeling exceptionally intelligent today. And you know that in order to destroy the chain, uh, most likely it's going to take three wish spells. Oh dear lord. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're not destroying this chain. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it seems quite impossible to go forward, so I guess we should backtrack and see if we missed anything. That's the only way. Uh, the only thing we'd be able to get to without taking damage uh, would be the little uh, solar thing. <laughs> the control room's full of slime that causes yeah. psychic damage. Oh, so it's not just in the corner. No, uh, it's, it's all over. It's all over the floor. Yeah, uh, they ended up. Uh, you have the slime coming in through. Um, there are three pipes in the room. So we can either go back to the solar thing, or we we'll have to go this one. Well, I guess examining the solar thing again would be the best option. Let's do it. There might be another demon in there. I need my revenge. Well, you can always summon a new one. Um, it's a, uh, this chamber, um, uh, the the little uh, astrolab devices that you know where you show you planet alignments and so forth as they rotate around the sun. Mm -hmm. That's what this is, except the sun in the middle is big enough for you to actually get in, and you got two levers that will allow you to rotate left and right and. Watch all the planets align. And you know, it, it's it's made out of brass. There's all these uh, concentric rings that rotate and bear their own lesser spears of planets and um, one of the moons uh, kind of exploded into a, uh, a fiend which they fought <laughs> oh, so one of those uh, spheres isn't there anymore correct? correct And looking down that short corridor to the south of you, um, you can start to see that a lot of the slime has started to disappear and 
it doesn't seem to be flowing freely out of the control room anymore. Alright, okay, so we can maybe try the control room in a sec, but I guess. Try we can also all give. The so I said I can get into the sphere, and there's two levers inside the sun, basically. Is that it? Correct. Alright. Um. Azoth was safe when he was in there. Yeah, even when the demon was outside, uh, the brass goes translucent and you're able to see out, but they're not able to see in. Well, I guess then I try to pull the levers to align all the planets. Okay, you're having a jolly good time rocking back and forth and watching all the planets uh, change their alignments and so forth. Um, And how are you trying to line the planets up? Are you wanting to just see how they go or line them up in a straight line? Yeah, just put them all in a straight line. It's usually how <laughs> these things go. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if which direction I'm pointing. I guess I'll just whichever seems the easiest. I mean, the line of planets will be pointing wherever just get them all in a straight line from the center of the sun on somewhere outwards. So I think he's asking you, are you pulling the left le lever or the right uh, lever? Yeah, I got the answer that I needed. And what are the rest of you all doing? Okay, I'm sorry, I've been waking up and everything. Um, I did catch the synopsis of all that was going on. Explain this hallway to me in front of me from where I'm standing. Uh, the hallway to the front of you uh, is littered with uh, broken armor, axe heads, and so forth. Uh, anything that's metal in the room starts to disintegrate. Alright, uh, inspecting the hallway, the entrance to the hallway, all of that, am I seeing anything? I mean, it's I know we've explored down the hallway and we've thrown some stuff into it, but uh, I see a choke point where we're going in um, and then a platform in front of it uh, where uh, everybody's standing. Uh, is there anything significant about that area? Uh, no, not up on the platform, and say, I'm sorry, when you come out of the hallway, uh, you would notice that, uh, what you, the doorway, it's, the doorway itself is actually a, a yawning archway, and there's a keystone adorned with an iron bull skull which bites down on an ivy ring and that is just inside the door where Pavo is standing. Alright, so I would have seen that on the way back. Right. Now, Zay, you are, uh, does anyone go with Zay? Or are you all standing there, everyone at the doorway? I'm standing there inspecting the doorway. I think I would have came along expecting another demon. It's all gears and traps and dwarfy like things, so I'm rather interested. I'm going to stand up on the platform just in case they need my help. <laughs> I'm long range anyway, I can shoot up the hall. 
Okay, uh, say you're putting all the planets in alignment and so forth, and... Um, and just as you get them all in a straight line, uh, the device shudders, and uh, you can hear grinding noises and so forth, and it it seems stuck. <laughs> and uh, the more you pull the levers and so forth, the more the thing shakes and... Yeah, you're not able to make any progress with it. Well, guys, I think you broke it. <laughs> And, um, Zay can I get you to, uh, roll percentile, please? Sure. Oh, that's awfully low. Maybe it's a free level up. <laughs> okay. Versus my percentile. And say, um, First of all, you feel, you know, a little embarrassed that, you know, you broke this machine. But on the other hand, um, you feel smarter for the experience. <laughs> and... Uh, Yeah, you just feel like uh, you know it all, and you need to increase your intelligence by five points. Oh. <laughs> if only I could use it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, if it do you some good. Um... But on the flip side, uh, you are stuck inside this machine. Uh huh. Oh well. Um. So that door I came into the machine then closed, and now I can't open it. Correct. Can I use my Goliath strength to pull it apart? Uh, yeah, you can go uh, work on it and so forth. And now to the other side of the hall, what would you guys like to do? I'm examining this uh, door knocker, for lack of a better term. The ring inside the clamp down mouth. Uh, yeah, it's, it, uh, you know, the, it's an iron bull skull but uh, it's biting down on an ivory ring. Does the ring move at all when I touch it? I, yes, it does. Uh, you can tell that with uh, enough force that you could probably pull it out. I look both directions over either shoulder, seeing if anybody's watching me, and I'm going to give it a hearty yank. Okay, um... Strength check? Yes, please. Okay, as you're yanking it, um, it does indeed break 
break free, but the ivory ring disintegrates in your hand. So you've got a handful of ivory dust. Alright, I'm going to step away and put my hands behind my back and rock back in front of my feet whistling like nothing ever happened. If you change I didn't room, do nothing. If you change that room from disintegrating, disintegrating metal to disintegrating bone, I think we're a bit worse off. <laughs> I'm going to act like nothing happened. I'm not going to tell you all a thing. <laughs> Stealth check. I'll push, actually, you know what, for shits and giggles, I'm going to push Azos into the hallway just to see if it did anything. <laughs> he's not even here. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, he was. He, he's in the process of connecting, so hold that thought for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and... Well, Pavo, uh, y you know, you're pulling and you're pulling and you're pulling, but yeah, you're not having any luck getting the door open. I guess my recent injuries made me lose my strength. Yeah, you got smacked. <laughs> Can I find anything inside? Like, is it really just a chair and the levers inside? Uh, yeah, it, it, it's a, actually, it's a really nice, fine leather chair. What's it all made out of? Uh, the majority of the machine is bronze. Mm. But the chair, I'm thinking, is leather and probably feather. This would be a good time for Billy's other character. He likes to set things on fire and bronze has a low melting point. Yeah, I don't. I do have a lower melting point in bronze. <laughs> you would just cook a little bit. I mean, you'd be medium rare by the time you got out. Now Maybe a little sphere, medium. Does the sphere make a complete circle, or is, is it connected to the stone at the bottom? Are you uh, thinking about unhinging it and us rolling in around the rest of the dungeon? <laughs> Give it like a hamster in the ball. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. I manipulate stone, so I was thinking I could make a tunnel. Uh, and yeah, it, it it's connected to the the floor, you know, as a as a base. Uh, you're not going to be able to hamster ball him, <laughs> and it could uh. just be, uh, you know, making a few more strength checks. <laughs> not being so puny on the strength checks, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll. I guess I'd feel someone pulling on the inside, so I'd push. I uh, pulling on the outside of the door, so I start pushing. I, on the inside uh, and uh, yeah, you would see him pulling because once you're inside, everything's translucent. So you do yeah. have a 360 degree view, and you know, you're you're just laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> well, in between my uh, <laughs> my laughs, I'd, I'd help him open the door to get me out. So okay. Advantage? Uh, yeah, I'll give you advantage. <laughs> oh my god. Philly. Yeah. Hey, Helm, give me a hand here. I'm still <laughs> injured. <laughs> uh, that's what you want to call it. Defeated by a door. I swear it's not because I have a lady's body now. What are you trying to open it with your boobs? They used to be hard as rock. Alright, so I'll try to open that thing with advantage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <it's> still helping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, good enough to uh, <laughs> get the door open. Billy walks over and opens up that bottle, that jar of pickles for you. <laughs> there you go, ma'am. Do you need anything else? <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, he's back. Everybody, quiet. Thank you. 
Well, I was just trying to make some late breakfast and plus I forgot to set my alarm. You're down two hours pay. I know. I know. All right. Well, as payment for being late, I'm throwing you into the metal hall. See if I fix that trap or not. Wait, hold on. Strip me down naked first. Hell no. It's much more funnier to watch you go tumbling in there. <laughs> oh. I like, I like stuff. We got backups going, Mel. Don't worry. <laughs> That's how I know. <laughs> it's, it's not really like you ever not get anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Torgus pushes Azoth into the <laughs> hall, and uh, Azoth, you're looking down, and you're you're amazed that nothing happened to you. Oh, and per and per Ar Arliss, I do my best Homer Simpson impression of a woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't also log in. It says the username's already in use. Uh, you might have to clear your cache and then try again. Uh, oh, yeah. That might make sense. Okay, so Zay is out of the uh, <laughs> spear thanks to Helm. <laughs> Helm. Nice. And Zay, once again, you can see that the slime has stopped flowing into the control room. Yes, and I would uh, let everyone know that seems to be safe to go back into the control. Uh, see if it's safe to go all the way down the hall now. I was going to use him to test to see if the slime could still hurt us in the control room. <laughs> oh, Zay so hasn't touched it yet. He, he, he can try it. Use, use Azoth as like our slime metal detector. We've already done that. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Azoth. Everybody's always picking on him. Uh, you know what? I'll, 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 head, I'll head down the hall to make sure because I've got the least amount of items that would be hurt. Plus, I'm all ranged anyway, so. Uh, yeah, you're able to move down the hall with uh, no problem. Yeah, because I'm going to start doing dwarven cartwheels back up the hall. <laughs> kind of just looks like somebody jump standing and jumping and doing a forward roll, falling on her face and continuing up. <laughs> <laughs> Super stealth skills, gotcha. Why do you think I attack everybody from range? So are we going down right away, or are we going to play with controls some more? Controls? And oh, I gosh. am going to unlock tokens. <laughs> I want to play with some controls. I'm a dwarf. I can understand gears and everything, and we can use Azot to be our... our what? Gosh, no, I'm not going back in there. <laughs> Well, you see, if it does psychic damage, then you're the one that can take the least amount of damage from us. <laughs> but I've already taken psychic damage from last week. <laughs> All right, I'm going to explain to Zay and Torgus that the blue dial change, plus the blue button changes the directions of the cogs, and the red dial allows you to talk to a friend, but do not pull the lever. And as you enter the control room, you would notice that the the iron bars are actually gone now. So you Sweet. are able to hmm. enter back into the gears. 
Whatever you All do, right, don't pull over. Let me examine this picture real quick. Okay, so whichever whichever one the light is under is the configuration that is currently in, I'm figuring. Oh, that yeah. is correct. I'm going to quickly turn it to number one and press the blue button. It looks like in that middle sphere that there is some type of passageway to the north if we can get it turned. Right now in the configuration we're in, we've also got a pathway to the south we have not explored. Yeah, the, you mean all the way to the right, right? No, I'm talking about the middle, uh, the middle cog. In the middle cog, there looks to be a pathway to the north that we haven't turned it to yet. Yeah, but we've also got a pathway to the south we haven't traveled yet. That's, oh, that's what you came. That's where you yeah, came. Yeah, we came that way. No, he's talking about in the. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My map, my map didn't get down far enough. Sorry. Right. Sorry, 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 sorry. Alright, All right, so. I'm choosing number one because we can come in from the right. And yeah, but we still have need to open that port, uh, the Mantium port, call us to get down to the middle room. But like I was saying, in the middle, uh, the green room, let's call it. Uh, there also appears to be some form of passageway to the north as well that we need to turn that cog to. So if we can get that one turned one to the right, we should be able to get into the room and up. Uh, the ladder just has my stand on there. Yeah, okay, I'll just stand there. So, wait, like, configuration two seems to be useless since there's only one connection. Three is the one we're in now. Four seems pointless as well. Doesn't link anything. I mean, it's not like we can't keep switching the configuration as long as we don't pull down the lever. Uh, well, only one and three actually seem useful, so. All right, so let's try one. But again, for one, we either need to have someone inside or... Uh, Break down the port callus. All right. Well, you guys all do big hurt. I just I can do hurt, but I'm probably the most liable not to need to be in there because you're also need the healer. So it'd probably be best if I sit back and hit buttons. Sounds good. Yeah, Thanks. Unger knows. Unger knows how safe it is for me to be hitting buttons. So. Totally. <laughs> you know what? I'll just I'll just. <laughs> I'll follow along. <laughs> Unger's going to run in that room and say, hmm, Rags is pushing buttons. Is there slime on the floor? And then he's going to go do a face slide in the slime to save himself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to join me in the green room? I'll join you. <laughs> okay. I have, I have faith that buttons won't be pushed. I'm sorry. I'm, I just loaded in. It's It's doing its best. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not a problem. Uh, the The green room, as a reminder, is full of these uh, sickly-looking plants. Uh, in the center of the room is this rusted water sprinkler. I think these plants could use some water, guys. Uh, I think it's anybody about to got go. anybody got like a make rain spell or anybody need to pee? <laughs> okay, so we have Torgus in the control room. We have everyone else in the green room. I should have made this guy a gnome so I could giggle right now and pull the flipping lever. <laughs> I'm sure it's safe in here. Well, push the button. And I push the button. Okay, and we are going to configuration one. Correct? One, yes, configuration one. I 
I take it that pathway to the north is now open. Uh, yes, uh, the pathway to the north, and sorry, these don't really rotate, line up, well, yeah. line up perfectly, but, okay, uh, change levels, go here, unmask, go back here. Oh, uh, they're searching there. I'm going to pop stealth real quick. Is on a look at something. Okay. Whoever I'm with, just drag me with them <laughs> for now. Yeah, just that. open up the player's handbook right now. That's all you need to open up. <laughs> Wait, why? Well, because if you open them all, it's going to take you longer to get everything. Okay. Uh, the guys in the green room and the lady. Uh, it, it starts, uh, you can feel the entire room shaking as you're being rotated. And eventually uh, it lines up with uh, this little weird room to the north. And um, as it lines up... Um, It, there's this thick green gas that's billowing out of these skull-shaped nozzles setting, set into the walls of the small room. Um, you can see a rotting corpse clad in studded leather armor laying on the floor, his mouth open, his hands are grasping his throat. And wrapped around one of the arms is a yellow band. And naturally, as the hallways line up, um, the gas starts filling in the green room. And... Um, <laughs> I need uh, the four of you all to make a uh, constitution saving throw, please. And don't forget you guys are all plus three. Ooh, that did not look good, Fraser. <laughs> not even the slightest. Uh, yeah, that's, that's can something. Can you push the map for me or something? Apparently I can't get it the, the usual way. Yeah, is it coming in? No. Wait, I forget. How do I add the plus three to the console? Just put Modifier the plus three to the yeah, Just do the modifier box bottom up. I just need the type, okay. Okay, and... Um, Azoth, um, as you are inhaling, um, this gas, um, you start to feel sick. And you're coughing and gagging and so forth. And you take uh, 10 points of uh, poison damage. Sounds like my allergies right now. <laughs> hey, so basically, gas started billing out of that thing. Everybody else covered their face, and you decided, ooh, that smells good, and you stuck your head into it. Uh, well, actually, uh, no. They're covering their faces, but they are still breathing in the gas. And they all take uh, five points of damage. And um, that is fifty eight. Uh, 
I just like the way the gas tastes. That's all. I just want an extra whiff. <laughs> <laughs> you tell everyone your breath and you're in Um, and would y'all like to uh, make a uh, perception check as well? Might as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Helm and Pavo, um, you can see that um, some of the vegetation uh, appears to start moving. Quick, burn it! <laughs> but yeah, you Dude, see these uh, <laughs> shambling mounds appear and <laughs> it's time to roll for initiative. Uh, of course it is. Now... Oh, where I can see the shambling mouth, I don't... Wait, I don't know yeah. if you can see Uh, ah, that's no problem. <laughs> okay, um, and the room there beside Pavo, uh, the one with the chest, uh, that is connected, so you do have an escape route that way, if you so choose to use it. And Zay, you're actually up first. And does the gas seem to be leading towards the second room as well? Uh, it, yeah, it, not as much of it is filtering into the other room. So I guess hit and run, might as well. Just walk five feet over here. And, uh, could you lock tokens, please? Yeah, sure can. And I'll just whack this pile of leaves. I'll hit him with my staff. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Great way to start the game. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use three charges of this thing. Do it to it, good boy. Uh, you should be about full Satar form by now. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Can use my horns now. So wait, how do I add the extra dice to the? Man, I had done that. Just forgot. What are you trying to add extra dice to? How do I? Because uh, I I use I crit with my staff of striking, so I'm using three charges of the sucker to add three extra d6 to the attack. Three extra d6. You gotta make it an effect. Yeah. I thought I had done it already. Apparently not. I created it plus uh, uh, 1d6, 2d6, and 3d6 effects. Oh, okay, here they are, sorry. It was minimized. I just add that to myself and roll. And I'll whack him again. Uh, 
Oops, that should have been a D6, not a D8. Uh, can you just uh, undo that damage, please, Winter? Yeah, sure can. I am misclicked. Should have been a D6, since I'm swinging one handedly. And I'll punch him in the face a couple of times. Boy, that intelligence increase really helped you, didn't it? <laughs> right. That's about it, and I'll withdraw to the other rooms. So that's... Yeah, I'll go back over here. And that's it. And even after all that, that shambling mound is only barely injured. I'm impressed. We're all well. They're all doing that. I'm gonna slide back over here, eventually, and see if there's Procolis or up or down. Because I'm gonna be about useless in this fight, and eventually, I think they may get to the right room. And you make it over there, and the portcullis is uh, up. I mean, sorry, it's still down. Not a problem. I'll sit here, and because I'm pretty well figured that the room's aligned, so I'll sit here and wait till they get into this room, and I can back them up ranged if needs be. Okay, helm. Okay, just uh, just ignore my movement thing on there. <laughs> uh, which where is Papa? And he is. Say you already escaped. Um, Helm decides to sit down and prepare for an attack. Yeah, go ahead and take your ready to action there, Helm. Uh, wrong guy. Uh, yeah, uh, he went to Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am not ready. I gotta zoom in a little bit. And Aesop isn't prepared, so he gets attacked twice. And it slams into Azoth. 
We're gonna try to slam again. Well. <laughs> yeah, good thing I didn't destroy that armor. <laughs> yeah, good thing. Good thing. I kind of need it. <laughs> All right, well, Pavo. Obviously not. Didn't do good, to be honest. Both attacks hit. I am casting spiritual weapon at fifth level. At who level? Fifth level. And I'll take a swing at Shambling Mount. But speaking of levels, did you guys level up in the meantime? Well, yeah, we nine. leveled up last uh, last last game. So you should be nine. Yeah, we should be nine. Oh, I'm still eight. Yeah, we weren't going to tell you because you weren't here. <laughs> uh, and I'll do one quick little sacred flame. Ooh, yeah. Um, Unger, I doubt we have our Crusaders mantle anymore. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't have it on that one because that's thirty feet. Yeah, no, but we still have the effect on us. Uh, and, oh, that's right. That's right. Shit. Okay, Shambling Mound, number one. Gonna step up and actually get Helm this time. Ready to action goes off. Uh, yes. Second attack would have mattered anyway. And yeah, he moved number ten. Ten's gonna move up. And I'm gonna add my initiative now. Okay. And we're gonna slam into helm. That was a miss. Two misses. No Yaka. Azop. I don't know. You're looking pretty hurt. Get out of here would be my suggestion. Yeah. Yeah, but it's uh all right, hold on. I'm gonna disengage and then just move. Yeah, move them. see if y'all can drag them back into my room. Because that can at least help y'all from range from over here. Or at the very least uh block them off at the pass at the entrance. There's no fun in that, I can't shoot the entrance. Well, maybe. I could always run back and switch the positions again so I'll block them off. This is very confusing not to know exactly how far away I am from the... <laughs> <laughs> from what? Uh, from the shamblers. Given, like, where the hell is the door, you know? I would be, I'd go on a straight line. Yeah, I, I just don't do the movement yet, I'm just checking. I'm at 30 feet, so I assume you're at 50 feet. I'm at 45. Wait, what? 
Yeah, we'll just count it straight line. Yeah, we should move 35 to get me that 10. No, so I'll... What the hell? Being a bit wonky. Okay, so I would... Sorry about that. I'll just move 15 feet over to here and uh, take my bow out. And I guess I can shoot him. ready in action in case any of them are within my range to to shoot okay all right disengage about right here Okay, Shambly Mounds gonna Shamble. Yep. And we're gonna try and attack on Helm. And since that one missed, we're gonna try the second attack on Helm. All right, Pavo. I take it from this room, I won't be able to see all three shambling horse or mounts. I uh, no. At best, I uh, will give you three and one and three. Alright, I'll take it, and I'll cast Bane on both of those two. And I'll move my spiritual weapon down one and attack Shambling Mountain 10. Okay. Uh, number one's gonna just move up. And ten is just gonna move up as well. And Listen, right, let's go. Probably just do lay on hands on myself. Is that a bonus or a regular? What do you mean? Action. Touching himself. That's pretty sure it's an action. Yeah, I think Yeah, it is. is. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's an action. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Okay, um, well, 20 feet up to here, dropping my bow, picking my uh, staff back up. Ah, pause. Close the map. Ah. <laughs> so, swinging my staff at him again. Hits. Second attack. Misses. I'm gonna punch him twice. Misses. Hits. And I'll walk back again. Do you have automatic disengage? Uh, it's the mobility feat. Whenever I attack something, that per that something can't use its reaction against me. Alright. Uh, okay. Orgus cannot see this one, yeah? Uh, Not yet. Yeah, I'd say he's got to be at least five foot further in. Wow, just think, if someone would have rotated the room, it would have saved you this battle. <laughs> it's okay, we need to kill them. And they're just holding the ground. Just remember, whatever doesn't kill you, gives you XP. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 
I will. Um, ready in action in case they come in. Okay, say so you're up. Yeah, rinse and repeat, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I have to do this again. It's just so sweet when it happens. Swinging again. Hits. I'll punch him once this time. I'm back again. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Pretty insane. Pretty in my range shot. Twenty one damage and eight dice. <laughs> I'll take the swing. I'm just going to back up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is funny. Probably should have typed before I backed up. Oh well, my mistake. And I ready in action. Yep, yeah, he's gonna come forward and Y'all's ready to actions will go off. All right, attack actions, huh? Yep. Well, he's lucky. I don't have anything special on him yet, so. Well, that was enough to kill him. I'm sure he only had one hit point, but... <laughs> I literally only <laughs> had one hit point. I was laughing at, uh... Helm backing up. <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, you allow the rogue into the battle and things start dying. All right. Go, go magic hammer. Yay. Magic uh, hammer's doing some damage today. I can see that one now, right? Yes. My favorite sacred flame. And I'm done. Okay. Number one's gonna advance. And Mrs. Pavo twice. Uh, Tim's gonna do something stupid and just come up behind him. Oh, where's a good lightning bolt when you need one? Or a nice fireball. Oh no, if they're lined up like that, that's pure lightning bolt. I, I wish I could tell. My computer freaked out after you killed the first one. 
<laughs> yeah, that was your computer's reaction to, you know, something actually dying that wasn't you. It doesn't know what to do. <laughs> actually, I do wish someone would hit him with lightning bolts. <laughs> Family amounts heal from lightning. Yep. So, Azoth, uh, you do have one to the northwest of you. Um. Well, I guess I'll 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 say it then. Um. I, I don't know if you can access it until either my computer freaks out or whatever. <laughs> Um, you know, it'll do a searing smite at first level. That's my bonus action. Okay, searing smite at first level. That's number one, and he failed his saving throw. By one. Ooh, wait. Oh, you, you did you hit him? Oh, yeah. I guess I did need to hit him first. Can't fail if I never saw him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just stays on the weapon until he hits with it. Uh, the flail, right? Yeah. And yes, you did hit him. Sweet. So then it uh, gets applied to him, and when it's his turn again, uh, the save button is a uh, is a uh, the thing. And then he would take uh, the fire damage. Then he would take flail damage. All right, Zay. Partially resisted the fire damage. Seriously, it might have been partially yeah. resisted the flail. No, it's fire because my it resists my uh, flame tongue damage. Oh, weird. And he rolled the damage separate, so we can clearly see. It just looks like you can set it on fire. It's all the wet vegetation. All the... Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Swing number one hits. Swing number two crits again. <laughs> Zay's on fire. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're running out of charges though, so I'm not gonna use it. Well, I use one. Pick. <laughs> and I did the same da uh, the same amount of damage as the <laughs> last time when I rolled. When I used double charges. And I'll punch him twice. Misses. That one misses back a bit. Alrighty. Uh, I point at Shambling Mound 1 and designate him as my prey. Just fixing up a couple of quick stuff. There we go, that'll be better now. Alright, that way I know what's on. Alright, and I attacked Shambling Man number one. I hit.
That is odd. Okay, there they both are. Okay, good, good, good. All right, and I damage. And then I fire a second shot from my heavy crossbow. And a miss. All right. I'll start swinging. That's a lot of ones. Go Magic Hammer. And my trusty Sacred Flame. <laughs> okay, uh... And number one's gonna do helm. Ooh, we got a hit in. Hold on a second. Okay, okay, Shield of Faith inspired. Okay, so he failed his concentration check. I didn't see the concentration check rolling, so I was just making sure his setup was right. Oh, yeah, he did fail. And Yaka. Okay. Yaka's uh, still around? I thought he died. Oh, no, he's only half melted. Yeah, uh, actually, with uh, Beldrak dropping out, uh, Yaka kind of went with him. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, we half melted him two sessions ago. It was rather funny. He was in an anti-magic field and acid was pouring down, so we actually changed his picture and everything, so we were like a half-melted skull. <laughs> I even throw him on the map so you can see him. <laughs> I was joking around. I was joking around and posted the skull up in Discord so he grabbed it and made this picture. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Oh, it's my turn. I'm back. Ah, awesome. yes, it is your turn. Hey, Hunger. Yes. It's your turn. Thanks, man. You know what? I'm going to switch my weapon and try something else. You know what? I, I try it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Freaking oh, weird javelin thing. Yeah, it's piercing and magic. I figured I'd try it. Obviously, I, I like my flail better. Plus, to practice with a weapon before you bring it in, in battle. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this guy. A plus Get send a hit thing. and it four times a session? What do you mean? Only problem is, is he's out of charges now. Oh, <laughs> he can't expend anything major. <laughs> and that's about it. I'll stay where I am. <laughs> oh, I can have fun now, don't I? All right, I, I start speaking the quizzically musical language of druidic magic, and I put a hunter's mark on.
And now I attack. So I'll put that on for right now as well. All right. And that hit. Make sure all my marks are on there. Slayer's Prey, Hunter's Mark, Sneak Attack. All right. Gotta love that from one crossbow bolt. <laughs> no shit. I still got another attack too. Um, I don't know. I've already done an attack action, so I can't ready an action now. So I'm a turn. Well, I got some downtime. So I'm gonna use my own hands on myself. Coward. He who live or he who heals can live uh, longer. <laughs> <laughs> An extra turn. He who fights and runs away wears their shoes out, shoes out quicker. I shall continue my onslaught. What is it with everybody in crits today? Let's put it this Crit way. His, 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 his spiritual hammer single-handedly took down that flipping shambling mound. It really did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was just levels on it. <laughs> you need to rename that spiritual hammer to, uh, what is it, a pestle? One thing it does is just grind down vegetation. <laughs> okay, so you have defeated all three shambling mounds, and you are in the side. Uh, da, 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 which room are you? 60. Uh, actually, Winter, quick question. As we were in the room, and the room was rotating, what could we see out the doorways? Like before they clicked back into place? Uh. From the center, uh, nothing that you didn't already know about. Uh, Do you you know, the, in other words, you didn't see any other passageways. Correct. I mean, like, as the doorways were rotating out, oh, does, oh, it, does oh. it close off? Or? Got it. Uh, no, actually, and... Uh, it opens up into a big underground lake. As it's spinning past, it's spinning past water, basically. Yes. Uh, you're seeing yes. out into a, uh, a, a, a large underground cavern that is flooded. I take it there's no light out there? Well, we didn't really get a lot of time to examine it, I guess. As no, I, I, you can see... Uh, you know, 10, 15 feet out from light that's spilling out of the room that you're in. And you can hear the water and you can see it. Well, uh, Helm, I volunteer you. Quickly run in there and investigate that one room. Um... Okay. Uh, well, I can do it the quickest, I guess. Be in and out in the one turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna unlock tokens. And so is that your eye doing it? And I'm gonna move back to the control room. Wait, actually, let's check this room. Maybe this we can open before uh, uh, Targus goes all the way back. Maybe we can open the port calls from inside this room. Yeah, I got good legs, and I can move 75 feet around. Aren't you a speedy dwarf? Well, I mean, I'll get my, my dash, and then I get a second dash, dash action. 
I don't really run it. I basically just pick up full speed, roll myself into a ball, and tumble down the rest of the the room. <laughs> and you know we are out of combat, so. I go ahead, go, yeah, the room. Y'all go ahead and investigate the middle room, um, because I want to see if there's any other passageways out of the room that you're in as well. Well, we know there is, because like I can see it before. Okay. Yeah. So I'm once I check the, get down in the middle room, then I can go ahead and set it back to where it was on three, and uh, and the portcullis will still be there regardless. So whatever is going to open the portcullis has got to be in there. Yeah. All right, then I'll uh, quickly go one, two, three, four, five, seven up to here. Can I find? Uh, where's the gas coming from? Oh, no, closer to. The Looks like the three. There were three skulls, I think, in the walls. There's three lumps you see above you. Can I stop the? If they, are the holes big? Like, can I stuff them close? Uh. Yeah, honestly, uh, since you've already taken damage from them, uh, there wouldn't be much more damage that applies to you. Alright, okay, then I'll just uh, check the room then. And give me a second, and I'm gonna... Unmask the map that you know about. Okay. Okay, so, um, yes, uh, you get in there and you can see that there are these skull-shaped nozzles, um, set into the walls. Uh, you do have the rotting corpse, uh, in studded leather armor, uh, Wrapped around one of its arms is a yellow band. Uh, can I, f do I find anything else on him? Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, he's got studded, uh, blah, blah, blah. let's try this again. He's wearing studded leather armor, and he's carrying a sheath longsword with this dragon-shaped hilt. Uh, does feel kind of magical to you, and um, it, there's also a Dungeoneer's Pact, and inside of it you find uh, six gemstones as well. Well, I guess I toss it all up into the party sheet. And... Inventory into the party sheet and before I forget it we will award you XP for that encounter as well as XP for defeating the fiend and everyone's on the combat tracker And, uh, actually, uh, looking at the longsword, I uh, it does feel semi-magical, and, uh, if you use the longsword, it gives you the ability to speak and understand Draconic. Oh, man, there's gonna be a dragon in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit of foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> there's always a reason for this stuff alright if there's nothing else then I'll go back in the main room well in the room with the rest of the guys 
And uh, what about... Oh, you described these uh, pictures on the walls before, but... Well, let's try uh, to get targeted first, I guess. Yeah, let's get let's rotate the room and get me back to the protocolist before y'all start doing anything fancy in there. I'll scream at my thermoturgy. You can turn it now. All right, so I will set it back to position three where it was, and then I'm gonna scoot my happy hockey puck butt up, down, and back around. Okay, uh, and as it rotates, you know, you see the uh, rest of the uh, lake and whatnot. And it lines up with the corridor to the southeast. Shall we investigate all the walls? We got this far, might as well. Stay together. My advice in this place is don't check everything all at once. Huh. True. <laughs> I've been I've been squished already in this place and I I could see the uh, flipping fifty monster encounter by opening every single one of those things at once. Yeah. Um okay. Uh, there's five teak wardrobes in this room. Uh, once again, these walls are ironclad, and uh, each wardrobe bears a door with a carved image or a scene. Um, and this room has the two exits, one to the south and one to the north. Um, with the north passageway, you know, you see Torgus, you see the portcullis, but, um, from your view, uh, you can see a metal plate set above the portcullis, and it's a row, um, Set into the port, it set into the metal plate above the portcullis is a row of five red crystals shaped like drops of blood. Oh, Zay picked up crystals too. And uh, I did. Everybody got a raised dead spell. Somebody's got to die five times. So we could just you know kill longer max five times to keep resonating. Ever revivify, but we'd have to. It wouldn't matter anyway because if somebody dies, we lose them. Oh, good point. Yeah. yeah. That's been kind of permanent in this place. Damn, so monger. May he rest in peace. <laughs> Actually, but he's not really resting in peace. He's more like resting like a pancake. True. Well, I'm gonna put, um, put some number tokens out for the wardrobes, and uh, the scene on the first wardrobe depicts an army of orcs clashing with an army of hobgoblins. Number two. Uh, you see a grinning night hag with a spotted human infant in her in her arms. Uh, number three is uh, the ornate clock. Number four, um, twisted, screaming humanoid faces wrapped in chains, and. The Fifth one depicts ghouls gnawing on bones. Oh, they all lovely. So, is there um, anything else with these gem sets by the portcullis?
Like, are there any slots for more gems? Uh, uh, no, they're they're just set there. Um, quite honestly, they kind of like remind you of the status lights from the control room. Oh, we have to open each of these doors. A certain way. Nice. Mm, we don't know if it's a certain way. It could just be, you know, all of them. Well, shall we pick one and see what happens? Should we only have one person do this instead of everybody? Shall we start? Hey, I'm that? safe behind the portcullis, man. You guys can go on that side and I can do I it. really would advise you guys, though, not to uh, fill up the hallway right in front of me. I will be firing ranged and ones do prick a little bit. True. There's also the other hallway, too. Yeah, yeah, generally not not advisable in a dungeon to lead off a not your rogue. Uh, hey, you know, it was his fault that he stayed behind. Of course, you all couldn't have rotated the rooms, but, you know. In this case, if you want to leave Torgus behind, it's A-OK. -OK. Alright, so which one we open I guess you just start with the first one, might as well. Personally, I'd start with the ghouls. Oh, not a sec. Ghouls are undead and not like killing undead, so. Wasn't there that weird saying before? Open up number five. Alright, let's open five first then. Alrighty. Okay. You are opening it. Okay. And uh, opening up number five. I'm just going to go get it over with. I have a funny feeling about this. <laughs> okay, uh, you open the wardrobe number five and you gaze out across an ancient cemetery. Uh, you can see canted tombstones shrouded in fog, uh, eerie, hungry shapes moving among the graves in the distance. And suddenly, bright glowing light, bright that bright glowing balls of light appear in the room behind you. Say what? <laughs> Fireball. Great fiery balls of light. Great balls of fire. Hope they're good. Oh no, Yaka's back, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it. Okay. Ah, uh, good old will o wisps Yeah, we're pretty much done with rotating the room. So... Well, let's delete that token. That way we've got a clear map. And... Put one there. Oh, oh, you had like print screens of the map as token and overwrote it. Clever. Yeah, the only drawback is running that uh, enhanced images extension. Uh, it's a great extension, but pre published modules by default, it puts your map is on layer one your already placed tokens show up uh, on layer level three. two and then you know your characters are actually on level three so you got to move them and but it worked for this. Yeah, I, 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 I run the Mortal Kombat uh, 
add on and it's got the uh the layering system as well on it yeah yeah it's crazy uh so anyway yes uh you all need to roll for initiative uh you have these glowing balls of light appearing in the room behind you and yeah, I rolled twice accidentally, but got the same results. So it's fine. And Pavel is last. And let's see, number seven. Okay, and it is uh, going to try and shock Zay. And Zay is able to dodge out of the way of it. And number 10 is going to try for Azoth. Sixteen is gonna come down like tokens. Gonna try for Azoth. Nope. Helm. Shock shocking. <laughs> well they left us all shocked. Uh, yep. Well, I guess I'll return the favor and try to hit this wisp. I'll whack it again. Good lord. I'll try and punch it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why I wasn't critting. It's what, every yes. third one's been a crit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll stay here for now. I am... How long has it been since last battle? Uh, I would say a minute. Alright. I'm going to move my Hunter's Mark then to Willow West 6. Yeah, because that would give Zay time to get over to the other room and back and shot I really messed with my second shot yes you did little buggers are hard to hit probably don't have much hit points so yeah, 
Okay, number six. Number six is gonna reach out and try and touch Helm. And nothing. Alright, Azoth. You are in a bad spot. Or the best spot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to use any spells. I feel like I can just hit on them and I should be alright, hopefully. So we're gonna try my cool weird devil and piercy thing and try to hit somebody. Bravo. Well, since no one can hit, I'll just leave it like that and I'll cast Bane at level... Th I have to use level 3 now. Only 2 failed. <laughs> That's not good. Alright, well, that's that. And I'll just stay back here and chill. Okay, number seven. Uh... Yeah, let's go for Zay. Or not. And... He's gonna just slide around Zay there. Ten tries Azoth. Nope. 16 tries ace off. I just want on record that this is the most I've not been hit in a row before, <laughs> so I just. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Alright, screw this. Yeah, you missed the uh, Minotaur room. That was fun. I know, I was looking forward to that one. <laughs> I just had to go, you know, a whole nother country. I'm sure there'll be plenty of opportunity for you to take damage. There we go. That's a lot better. Finish this sucker off by actually hitting. Swing like my first staff attack. There we go. And again. Just wiggle over here and uh, go for wisdom number 10. Flanking for advantage, yes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh... Wait. Somehow I think I rolled too many dice. You attack two and two willows. You attack the old one and another one. Oh, okay. I saw four dice going off and I'm like, what the hell? 
Well, so the yeah, the, the twenty-five would have hit. Okay. Uh, then I'll. Uh, that was a punch attack. You have to retarget him. Yeah. I'll just drag the damage on his. Okay. Well, you can do that. Yeah, just drag the. Oh, word. Alright. Yeah, anytime you uh, don't target, uh, you can drag the attack and the damage over and it'll tell you if you hit and apply the damage. Alright, I'm gonna attack. Well, the first one was a miss. That was my first attack. The second one was a hit. That was my second attack. And let me add some sneaky sneaky. He's dead. Oh, thank God. I, uh, I realized I was in a sticky situation there. <laughs> you were blinded by the light. <laughs> I figure if this are dying so fast, I'll just run past it and attack it with my mace. Well, no, slow down. Best accuracy ever. Again, flanking. Oh, flanking. He flunked flank. Yep, I flanked. Ha 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 ha. And... And return... That fucking Bane. <laughs> Alright, Helm. to when they flanks this guy? Uh, yeah, you could. Do that. Taking a long time with these little buggers. Hey, Zay, if you go down instead of diagonal? Oh, yeah. You'll oh. be getting flank. Sure, sure, sure. Which is really funny flanking these guys considering they officially don't really have a front. Yeah. <laughs> True. It's okay, he gets his criticals. And then, I know. And then wouldn't uh, Helm's uh, very specific ready action go off? Uh, yeah, yeah I was waiting for Zay to finish his turn. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. After he's done pummeling it to death. Yeah. <laughs> it's dead. Oh, it's fun punching a light to this. That's how I turn off the light at all. Alright, now with the last <laughs> one dead, I look up and check out the little teardrop. It's on the wrong side for you to see, but one of them does go out. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We gotta do this four more times. Yes. All different types of enemies. So that was number five, so number four? Yeah, well, might as well. Count down, right? Yeah, you gotta just watch out for Acer X, uh pet tit fiend that he keeps in here. Oh, um need to do each and every one? Apparently. 
So, however, since I'm quite injured, I'm going to hit myself with uh, Cure Wounds. Or we can just try a short rest as well. That too. If it's okay, possible. No thoughts back, but yeah. Do spell slots come back on a short rest? No, they don't. Well, yeah, it depends on class. Well, yeah, depends on class. Warlock Let me see some. Paladins, no. Channel Divinity comes back on short rest, no. Oh, that's true. Alright, hold on, guys. I'll fix this. We can also just rotate slot the room. Guys, no, I'm just, no, no, I got it. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm. I got you guys. Because it's not y'all I'm worried about. True. If you unlock, I'll just go ahead and move them. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm rotating the rooms back to one. What this will do is it will block off access to me because they can't get to me because the stairs will be blocked off from the middle room. And the guys will be safe anyway, so we should be safe for a long rest as long as you guys don't have, you know, like a dragon sitting at the top of the aisle. Actually, no. Y'all won't because you only have access to the middle room, so... So we should all be safe for a long rest. At DM's discretion, of course. Right. Uh, yeah, that works for me. Word. Word. So, one long rest. There you go, guys. Go ahead and open up. I'm, of course, I'm going to rotate them back now, and then, yeah, we'll continue on. Wait, actually, I forgot about this. How dark is this room? Well, I, I think uh, Pavo's been running lights, so... Yeah. So, except for Pavo's lights, how dark is this? Uh, it's uh, fairly dark. Alright, then I can just shadow step through the bars. And I can rotate all around so, like, Targus can take my place. And I can just shadow step back if you want. Just so you don't have to constantly keep shooting through the bars. I think I'm it's right, safer safer on on it keeps me safer. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It's like, oh, that looked like it hurt. Ooh, that was not a good looking hit. Oh, time I'm out here smoking a cigar and really shooting people. Door number five, then. Can I get that cool dragon sword thingy? Uh, sure. If you want it. Want it. I don't use long swords. I do. But Hell, I've got a great axe in a while. I've got a great axe on my back. I haven't even pulled out of its sheath yet. You gotta keep it clean. All the other thiefly people said thieves don't carry great axes. <laughs> I'll show them. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing now? Um, pick a number because we got about ten, fifteen minutes before we gotta we gotta blow. I'll say twelve forty five we can go till yeah. but Billy and I gotta work this afternoon, so let's keep it in order then. We did four, five, let's do four. What's the what's picture on four? Tortured slaves. Uh, yeah, the one on four is, uh, humanoid faces, uh, screaming, twisted faces wrapped in chains. I can't be dead. No, why do you say that? I'm sure they're screaming in joy. Don't make assumptions. I'll open it. Okay, as you open it, uh, waves of heat assail you as the door opens, revealing an iron road leading to a basalt citadel surrounded by the charred remains of defeated armies. Um, prisoners screen from iron giblets that festoon the citadel walls, and suddenly a glowing ember flies out of the wardrobe and transforms into a winged, bony fiend with a smiling, skull-like visage. See, he's smiling. He's nice. 
And let's roll for initiative. Could have been what? worse. It could have been a Gorth. Could have been a good to let me in. It could have been a Gorgoth mug. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes Gorgoth mugs. I mean, I'd say what it was, but I, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it's a poop demon. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> Azoth, you are up Holy first. Holy crap. How is that even possible? Okay. Um, uh, lock tokens, I guess. We won't be doing a lot of moving. There's no reason to really lock them in the small space. Outside of people doing that. I guess that's true. Never mind. I can't even spin them anymore. That's because I locked him. <laughs> I'm going to go on this side. Then go back to my favorite weapon. Me this battle. Guess he is hidden from my view. Ah. Uh, very, very interesting. Um. Plus, it flies away and takes opportunity attacks. Let's just think, see what happens. I will. Second level smite, why not? Yep, there we go. All right. <laughs> uh, swing again. No smile on that one. Alright, so no way to get flanking. Well, I use my bonus action to hex him. And I'll walk over here and I'll swing him with the staff. Which misses, second attack, hit. Defect. I'll scooch over here. Okay, uh, he is going to try claw at helm. Going to try another claw at helm. Ooh, that one does hit. Helm takes a little bit of damage. And he is going to swing his tail at Ungra, and Ungra ducks out of the way. Alright. Torgus. He is just subbed away. And Pavo. My favorite spell, Bane.
And that's my turn. Uh, Torgus is back. Oh, yeah, that's it. Never mind, he can't do anything. Okay, who's up? Only 400 hit points to get through. You can do it. Is that? Is that? Um, generally, when you roll a 20 as a paladin when fighting a fiend, you want to smite him. Yeah. <laughs> you get extra damage against fiends to begin with, and all of your damage is double. Okay, so it didn't do too much damage. That's because he's partially resistant to normal weapons. But not the smite damage. Okay. I will just keep Uh, to smite or not to smite? To smite. I will go ahead and use a second level smite again. Alright. And no waste your smites, man. Wait for a crit. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I rarely nice. ever use my secondary uh, or my second level spell slots anyway, so. I mean, yeah, I'm going to save my last one for a crit, but... And I still got third and first levels if I need them. No smite on that one. Right. Uh, my hex is still on the dude, so a swing. Uh, hits. Second attack. Listen. Here comes the crit. Nah, that's not with the staff anymore. Did I end targets? Looks oh, like it. Yeah. I didn't even target, so this damage should have gone on him. Second missed. Uh, my last attack from Flurry of Blows. That one hits. As a crit, uh, second, air, second level smite, you'll be looking at for 8d8 just in smite damage alone. Couldn't tell you what his damage would be yet. He hasn't noticed. My all my damage is magical. Yes, yeah, so as a monk, he's got magic feet and hands. And he doesn't resist. He doesn't resist magic. Ha! Uh, nope. Nah, usually uh, it's, resist it's resistance to non-magical slashing, bludgeoning, and whatnot. Makes sense. In this case, it's just not magical because you'll hit him with a bludgeoning and a edge, and he's resisted both. Uh, yeah, he is uh, resist resisting bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, uh, non magic, non silver, immune to fire, poison. We don't need to know his immunities. It's all good. I mean, that's just you know common sense thinking about it. Um, you know, if you've got silver, he's still going to be resistant to, to the fact of his bludgeoning, you know. 
Makes sense. Now, mind you, I've only played one other campaign before this one, and all I had to fight were humans and orcs and giants, so I didn't have any, like, experience to, like, basically anything that's not a humanoid. Yeah, devils and demons are where it's at. I know. <laughs> Sadly, I'm only using third <laughs> level. When <laughs> oh, it dies right after I cast it. You still got more doors? Let's open a door. Oh, uh, wait, no. Holy mind. crap. I don't know what you guys do, but it, it broke it again. <laughs> it's the crits. <laughs> My computer can't handle the fact that crits are real. Did you update your fantasy grounds before you came in? Yes. Okay. It's just, I think it's just the age of my laptop. Well, there are too many dice being rolled. His laptop <laughs> crashes. <laughs> okay, so if not, when we quit, oh, you goes. roll half the dice and then half the dice, or else we're gonna lose. <clears throat> we're gonna lose A's off all the time. <laughs> It's like a six, seven year old laptop, so bear with me. Let's hope you don't crit. If you crash when we crit, if you crit, your computer's gonna blow up. No, <laughs> your house is gonna lose power. <laughs> it, it's, it's good now. It's good. It, it caught up. Shall we quickly open door three? Yeah. I'm sure it's not gonna age us or anything like that. I don't know. Last fall, I was around age for 10 years. Uh, okay. Don't look a day over 50. <laughs> um. Really? Oh, if you remember that, uh, that fiend I was talking about? Okay, um. Door three is uh, the ornate clock, and as you open it, uh, you see these enormous interlocking gears and cogs stretching as far as you can see. Uh, suddenly a spherical construct with uh, spindly legs and small wings tumbles through the opening, the open door. And let's see. So uh, roll initiative. He looks kind of scared. Um, it looks lost. It uh, tumbles and it, it lands prone at your feet. Uh, it, you can see it, it's shaking for a second and uh, it rights itself and it tries to fly back into the wardrobe. But uh, it's being blocked from entering by the wardrobe's magic. Looks harmless to me. I want to pet it. And it is not doing anything threatening. I don't like drones. I kind of want to keep it. So I'm in a backpack. It's a replacement for Yaka. Except this we one's don't need silent. another Yaka. <laughs> <laughs> this one's silent. Hey, Zoth, you can do with them if you really want them. Like, I feel bad. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the yeah, last few drones that we ran... The last few drones that we ran up against tried to kill us, so you know. Yeah, uh, it was a different time. Actually, they just flew into a hall and died. Well, uh, we killed a few of them. Uh, uh, he's he's a cute little guy. Keep him. Yeah. But if we keep him, is it going to turn on the? I mean, what is it really going to do to us? Um. Yeah. Why don't you check to see if that third teardrop turned off? Yeah. Uh, I shall look. Uh, yes, uh, you do now have uh, three of the lights out. Alright, so it'll work regardless. Yeah, so we just need to open the doors, yep. I guess. And, oh, guys, uh, this is a... Uh, we're losing... Uh, 
Billy and myself have to go to work. Yeah. Um, if y'all don't care, uh, this is a great place to call it. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. How about some experience for the first two battles, if you don't mind? Uh, you know what? Uh, I've got more than just two coming at you. Um, for, let's see, for the Bone Devil and for this Monodrone. Plus, there's uh, solving the riddle of the chain. You get some more experience, and still not enough to put you up a level. There was also the what was before the Bone Devil. Ah, uh, the, the Will of Wisps. Yes, and we did get a experience for that. Okay, yeah. Yep. I just filmed that out. All right, sounds good, guys. All right. All right, gentlemen, uh, see you next Sunday, same time. Sir, yeah, yes, sir. We'll see you then. Time, next time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sounds okay, good. Th- All right, guys. Uh, add up right. my level. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're fine. All right, see you guys. Have, have a great day, man. Cheers.